fixed income valuation. Okay, for fixed income, we know that they pay coupons. So we have a bonds coupon. Okay, bonds coupon is is interest on its face value. Okay, of the bond. And this interest represents the cost of borrowing to the bond issuer. There are several payment frequencies of uh, coupon bonds. They can be monthly, okay, they can be quarterly, semi-annually, which is the most common, and annually. Okay, these are but the most common. We also have uh, bi-monthly. So bonds coupon to the bondholder, okay, or in other words, the investor who buys or holds the coupon, this represents the return on the investments. And regarding a bonds coupon, okay, the better the credit rating of a company, or the higher the credit rating, okay, the lower the coupon of the bond since this company it has proved itself um, less risky with a higher credit rating bond prices okay, are quoted in its clean price okay which is its market price okay clean price meaning it is quoted without the accrued interest element okay if we quote a bond with its clean price a plus accrued interest we call that the dirty price so the dirty price is the current market price of the block of the of the bond or the clean price plus any interest that it has accrued okay so what is accrued interest okay accrued interest is the amount of interest earned and not yet paid to a bondholder. For example, if we have this timeline of a bond being shown and each of the markings represent coupon dates, okay. Now, for example, let's say at this particular date, all right, at this particular date, the bond is being sold to another holder, okay, which means actually this portion of the bond, okay, is actually the interest earned by the previous uh, bondholder, the, the old bondholder, and which the old bondholder is entitled to. But only from this point onwards, the new bondholder is entitled to it. So we call this portion as the accrued interest. Okay, This portion over here is the accrued interest. We come to concept of bond yields. Now, what is a bond yield? All right, it's simply the return an investor would earn if he holds the bond to maturity. Okay, the return. Now, having said this, a bond coupon doesn't necessarily equate to the yield. Okay, although an investor would get a coupon on the bond, this coupon might not necessarily mean that this is the actual yield an investor would have. We will show this relationship um, later on soon. Price yield relationship. Now, if a bond's market price equals the par value of a bond, okay, for example, the par value of a bond might be $1,000, and the bond's current market price or current price, it's also $1,000. Now, that means the coupon would be equal to the yield. Okay, as mentioned, the yield is simply the return that an investor uh, um, will enjoy if he holds the bond to maturity. Okay, so if market price equals to par, coupon will be equal to yield. Now, let's say, however, if the bond price decreases, let's say, to $800. Okay, that means the coupon rate is actually less than the yield. Okay, that means I am... I can buy a, a bond currently at $800 and I get back $1,000 at maturity. Okay, now that means my yield will definitely be higher than if my current bond price were to be $1,000.
Okay, that means although my coupon rate has stayed the same, I'll still be getting the same amount of coupons, okay? But my you, because I'm paying a discount here over here, okay, I'm actually paying a discount. That means I actually enjoy a higher rate of return, meaning a higher yield. So a yield, the yield will be more than the coupon rate if the bond price decreases. So correspondingly, if the bond price increases, okay, increases, let's say to $1,100, okay, that means I'm actually paying a premium on the bond because although I'm paying $1,100, I only get back $1,000, uh, which is the power price at maturity. So that means although I get the same coupon rate, my yield or my return is actually lesser now. So which means that my coupon rate is more than my yield. So how do we calculate yield? One way of calculating yield is to calculate the current yield. Okay? Current yield, the formula is equal to coupon payment divided by bond price times 100%. Okay, so for example, if um, I have a bond which power value is $1,000, okay, um, the current price, all right, the current price is actually just $950 and I have a coupon rate of 7%. Okay, what's the current yield? Okay, it would be equal to my coupon payment, which in this case is actually $70, since it's 7% 7 of 1000 divided by $950 and 100%. Okay, so if I were to calculate this using a calculator, Okay, 70 divided by 950 times 100. I would get the current U of 7.37. 7.37%. Okay, but if you can imagine if my, power, my current price is 1000. Okay, if my current price is 1000, it would just be 70 divided by 1000 times 100 percent which would just give me seven percent so in this case my yield is equal to my coupon rate but if i have a bond which is um, sold at a discount which is 950 dollars my current yield is higher than my coupon rate okay and of course if my price is higher than the power value my yield would be lower than the coupon rate so i hope you can see this relationship Thank mm -hmm. you.